Hello guys, this is Traz, and we are here on Nail. Um, we're kind of getting set up for the 1.4 patched version of this. Um, it's actually... It's meant for the 1.4 Minecraft update with command blocks. It's a whole command block based update for this map. And, um, well, just the, the patch number for the map, too, kind of coincided with that. So, uh, nail 1.4. Um, the, there's a lot to show you on this. So I'm actually going to break it up into a few parts. Um, and not going to release it yet with this part. Probably on, like, the third part or something. But today I just wanted to show you... Well, we'll take a look around a little bit. Um, there's a lot of additions. Um, tried to keep the overall map um, basically the same, but there's a lot of tweaks. A lot, a lot of tweaks. And a good amount of additions to the map. Um, and I'll go over them mo most of them um, in these these videos. Um, today I'm mostly just going to go over the team captain selection system. And that's what I've been calling it. Because it's basically it... Well, I have a randomizer over here. I'll show that first. And this just randomly places people from one side here, hit mode, it placed me there, and then it'll place another random person from that box over there to here, and you get to watch as teammates are get, um, collected on either side. And that's just a basic randomizer, just kind of pretty up a bit, and eh, I like watching, you know, as your your favorite teammate gets picked on the wrong side that you don't want to be. Or something like that. Tried to kind of give it a good feel for it here. Um, everybody's always confused by the pressure plates. That's just decoration with the with the torches. But um, yeah, it alternates defender, invader, inv defender, invader until it you know runs out of people in the box here. And so that's the randomizer. Now it's gonna kind of break on me because I'm the only one in the game. But I'll go ahead and hit it here. So it'll pick, pick me as the first team captain here, and someone over there is the second team captain. And this block will lower, and we get to pick somebody from out of one of these cages. And I'll probably slice in some video of it here as I'm talking about it here. Okay, so the player presses the button to start the system. Everyone gets teleported to their chambers here. Team captains are randomly selected from the players that were available. Uh, the first team captain walks out and presses a button. It drops the player down and it teleports the team captain back to their cage. And then the player that they picked gets teleported into the cage next to them. And after all the players are done, it, you're, the second team captain is allowed to press the button that selects which side they want to choose first, it, either the invaders or defenders. So again, the two team captains are selected randomly from among the players, and the first team captain that's selected gets first choice. And after he picks his player, um, the second team captain gets second choice. And because they get second choice, they are given the ability to pick whether they want invaders or defenders or random. There's even a random option. And after that everybody's teleported back up here to the randomizer pillars up here. Now, if you're not selected for team captain, you're treated like dirt. You're stuffed into a little box, then stuffed into a little cage, and if somebody decides to pick you, you're dropped into a pit, and fall down, take some damage, and stuffed into a tiny little cage with However many people are out there, this thing can be... You can have up to five people in this box if you have a 12-person game. Um, 
but after after it's all done, you're teleported back up here. And no hard feelings, of course. Now, sometimes you might want to elect your own team captains, so I've allowed for that, for that option too. Uh, if you stand up in one of these two spots and press the button, you will be always a team captain. So whoever's in one of those two spots, or both, you know, two people can be in those spots, they'll both be team captain, and they'll always be selected. I don't know why I always get on the right side here, but you'll always get team captain. Now here it is with two players that are manually selected as team captains. They will be then randomized, and one will be put on team captain number one, one will be team captain number two. Oh, here, I finally get a Team Captain 1. Um, just last time here, pick... Hmm, who to pick? My teammate is dropped in the cage to the side of me, and his teammate is dropped in his cage, and then he gets to pick. Oh yeah, let me do one as a spectator, I guess. That'll be good. Yeah, just tell him I record. Oops. I like that I implemented that, but I keep forgetting. Yeah, that's how nice. does it know? Can I check game mode? Yeah, I can check game mode in one of the commands. That's cool. It's great. Um, of course, I have to have two blocks every time because it has. I'll, I have one that checks for game mode zero, one that checks for game mode one, and one that checks for game mode two. <laughs> and yeah. uh, they teleport me yeah. depending on that. And um, cool if you could do game mode greater than zero or something. Or like, oh, I guess that's, or if you could do commas or something, so you could just multiple, like, I don't know. Where am I? Oh, you're in okay. the... Oh, yes! Yes, Woo! you're the only one in the cage. Okay, here, I'm back, uh, voice over me here again. I did a better job of explaining that during that kind of banter than I probably could have explained here. So, this is spectator mode. I'm here, It the system puts me up in this balcony, and it kind of ignores me as a, a part of either being picked for players or being picked as a team captain. And I get to watch and see what's going on, and then after it, it teleports me back up here. During that, I was even in adventure mode, so I can't just punch right through the bars or anything. Um, and then when I'm up here, I'm back into creative. Okay, that's just about everything it does. Uh, there's one last thing here. If somebody triggers the system early, or not everybody was logged in yet or something, and you need to reset it, there's a little reset button. Should just pull everybody out of the cages, teleport everybody up back up to the spawn platform. So that's the reset button. And that's the last thing. So now we'll just take a little look at the wiring down here. This is it. This is the inner workings of Nail 1.4. A lot, a lot of command blocks. I love command blocks. They're doing... they're, they're just... they've changed the way maps work. Um, so, the for the team captain select, it starts off doing some stuff and teleporting everybody down to the, the box down here. Um, I'm not going to explain too much, but basically everybody getting teleported into the cages is by a minecart, and so it steadily gets everybody into the cages. Um, this is the team captain stuff, I'm, you know, selecting each player. And then this is the final part where that the pistons open up in the, bat in the, the behind the second team captain. And then they either choose invader, defender, or random. And this is that randomizer I posted the other day that I came up with. Um, I think I have the schematic download for, up for that, too. So, this is the final thing that teleports them back up top on the little pedestals, or podiums, or I'm not sure what to call them. Pedestals? Podiums? I'm going to call them podiums. Yeah, I think they're podiums. 
sure. Anyway, that's about it. I'll put a... Actually, I'm going to show you... I'm going to set up a schematic for this and make this downloadable and make it be able to be used by anyone. Um, and we'll go over to that now. And we'll be right back. Okay, here it is by itself. So this will be the schematic up for download. Um, now this cannot be easily plugged into a map uh, without some some tricks and some tools here. So this actually has command blocks that have no coordinates on them at the moment. They all just have Tele 34, Tele 23, and whatever. And all of those correspond to different points. See, that's Tele 88, that's Tele 89. So, with that, you can plug the schematic in anywhere you want, and then run it through Seth Bling's command block signs filter. And it'll work on any map. And it is fully set up for that. Um, up here is the start of it. Um, this line right here will lock out the signal. So if you send a, uh, a solid signal down this line, it'll make it go over here instead and you can't access this after the game has already started so they're all like that all the uh, all the circuits in the the rest of the thing are like that the randomizer and the well yeah the randomizer mainly but uh, yeah you can't actually turn it on while the game is in progress so it can't like teleport everybody over here but um so just turn it that on if you want it like that let's go like that and it'll it'll get through over here and up right over there. But when the signal comes through here, it goes down this line of blocks. And again, these all have Tele 31, Tele 31, and all that. And it changes uh, the command block signs filter will change all those Tele's to coordinates, so you can plug it into the, your map anywhere you want. Um, this is the button platform so you could put this somewhere else you could move copy and move this over here um, that that is the where they're teleported to and this is the the main box you can put anywhere else and then you have to kind of I'll I'll go over to MC edit and we'll show you here okay we're in MC edit here and I'm gonna go ahead and load it on my single player world so, I'll make the schematic a little smaller than this, but I'll go ahead and just plug it in here. Move it up a little bit. There we go. Now, any of these, I can even move this if I want. Okay, let's get that. I will just, uh, yeah, I'll just nudge it over a couple times. Oops. And there we go. So if I want it there, now I can just put a box over pretty much all of this. Just slide it right over. And there, that's that's fully covered. This just needs to come down more. I can go a little over, that's fine, whatever. And now, we are going to run this filter. I'll try to remember to put a link to this in the description. Should be able to. Plug me if it's not there. Alright, command block signs, filter. Let's go ahead and run that, and that's it. Um, now let's check it out. Yep, you can see the signs are all gone there. And I'm sure the signs are gone from everywhere else. And it should work. Go ahead and save, and we'll go back over to the world there and see if it's if it's good to go. Okay, filter's been run on it. All the signs are gone now. 
and I will just go, where is it, up here, I'm the only one in the game, so it's not going to work too well, but it should at least make me team captain, clear my inventory, and here I am. I do have the uh, command block displayed enabled, so you can see what's going on here a little bit, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and reset it. And apparently I don't have the reset spawn set to anything. Okay, I'll fix that. Oh, we forgot to place a sign. Okay, and there we go. Now, another thing I can do here um, to test this thing manually, actually. Oops, lever. So I'm going to trigger this, so it's going to think there's pressure people on those pressure plates. So I am Team Captain 1, caging the rest of the players, so it's going to fill these up. So Team Captain 1 goes. And then Team Captain 2, apparently I'm Team Captain 2. Okay. There we go. Now, uh, Team Captain 1. Team Captain 2. Team Captain 1. And Team Captain 2. And then this opens. Randomize. And there we go. I've selected blue team. I'm on blue team. I changed invaders and defenders to blue team and red team for the downloadable version. So, there you go. It should work. I might do an update to it in the future. I have some ideas to kind of make it... Well, it's most. It's pretty much solid now. It'll. It's been working great now. Uh, I might do some changes to it in the future, so I will, might change it again, but... This is what's up for download. So take it, use it how you want. If you want a team captain selection system in your PvP map, they're great to have. And I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you liked this, please like like this video. And this was part two of the nail update. Uh, part no part. This was part one. Not okay. This was part one. Part two is next. Um, Part two is, I consider, bigger than this, so check that out. It is the map selection system, and I'll see you next time. Oh, wait, I can record this. This works. What are we doing? We are... Yeah. You are... You don't make your choice. Make your choice. Make your choice. Make your choice. I know it's choosing. I know it's choosing. Yeah. Oh, oh, called it. Ah. <laughs> Why? I know who he's using too. You so I'll make you a pretty picture. Please don't kill me? Question mark. Who is choosing? I I hope. He's gonna kill me. No, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, that looks so sad. I wanna choose you. Big Tiggy, I'm back. Tiggy, I'm back. Ah. Uh. Hey, buddy. Oh God! Hey, why? Me. Let me out of here. Who's teaming it up, man. Don't be let me put me in here with him. But I would be offended <laughs> if I picked me up. I would be very offended. He's always picked last, so I feel bad. Go pick me up. Hey, smoke oh, man, smoke do it. Hey, woo! Yay! <laughs> Bruno, you're the the last. Now, Bro, no, you just got rejected. Bro, fives. Aw, oh, defender. Lame. Deal with it, Etho.